Yo, what's up gang? We got some new Captain America 4 news. We're going to talk about who the villain of Captain America 4 is supposedly going to be. Also got some news on the Sharon Carter Power Broker character too. I don't know y'all. I'm type liking this news. Subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. Bang my intro. Yo. <laughs> So it sounds like the reemergence of Hydra is finally here, y'all. I've been waiting for this news that Hydra is coming back for a while. I know between the first two Cap movies and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the fans may be a little tired of Hydra, but I'm not. And if this rumor is true, I'm finally excited about Cap 4. If you haven't heard, earlier this week, that hashtag show dropped an exclusive revealing that the villain of Cap 4 is none other than Cynthia Schmidt, a.k.a. Sin, the Red Skull's daughter. Now, that hashtag show is reporting that Cap 4, the script actually, has gone through one rewrite already and is now going through another. But Marvel still put out a casting call for the future film. Hashtag is also saying that Sin's rumored role in the film is that she's trying to reestablish Hydra while reevaluating the legacies of her father, Steve Rogers, and Sam's new role as Cap. The article doesn't mention Bucky. Now on to the Sharon Carter side of things. Apparently one of those rewrites were about changing the main villain which was supposed to be Sharon Carter as the power broker. The role she took on during the events of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and switched it over to the Sin character. This was due to the negative response from the fans over her role in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So overall, me personally, this news excites me. If you watch my review on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series, then you know I wasn't rocking with that show like that. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. That show wasn't it. One of my issues with that show, though, was the Sharon Carter power broker reveal and her character overall. Her character made a big switch from when we last saw her, and that threw a lot of fans off. Fast forward now, we find out later that she's the big bad of the show, the power broker another decision that didn't go over well with the fandom mostly because it was just lazy we didn't want it to be her but on top of that if i'm being honest that reveal just wasn't handled well it just wasn't handled well like what do you want us to do now going into cat four i was type scared because it was obvious that Sharon Carter was either going to be the main villain or at least one of the villains. And that would have been a big step down for me for the franchise. This franchise has done so well. The Captain America franchise I'm speaking of has done so well, especially when the Russo brothers were signed on for Winter Soldier and then Civil War. I mean, this is probably the top franchise in the MCU right now, and it can't afford any missteps at all so if you ask me i wanted the main villain to be the red skull we last saw red skull on the planet of vormir in the avengers affinity war and endgame he was cursed to watch over the soul stone but now with the soul stone gone blurs like myself have wondered if or when the skull faced villain would appear again my hope, like I said earlier, was that the Red Skull would make his return as the main villain in Cap 4. But according to the hashtag show, Marvel seems to be rolling with Sin as the main villain. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to hold y'all. I actually like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's not bad at all. We got a new Cap. Mons will make his new arch nemesis Red Skull's daughter. With the villain being Sin, I think that shuts down the you know i think it shuts the door on red skull rather i honestly think they're probably saving red skull for maybe dr strange 2 or that secret wars movie that we all know is coming eventually but i like the fact that sin's gonna be re-establishing hydra in the mcu it's been so long since we had any hydra i'm excited can't wait to see what she does different with the hydra organization there was no mention of bucky u.s agent or madam hydra in this article 
since the script is going through a second rewrite, that means Cap 4 is still in early development. We don't have a release date as of yet, but make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'll be doing updates on Cap 4 leading up to the movie. So holla at your boy. So how do we feel about this rumor of Sin entering the MCU? Is this lit or is this Cap? Pun intended. Also, when do you think we'll see the Red Skull again? Let your boy know in the comment section below. For more on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, check out my review. And for more on Marvel, check out my MCU playlist on the screen now. Did you heard? I don't know, y'all. I'm starting to feel comfortable. I'm starting to feel like this is my thing. This YouTube thing is my bag. I want y'all to rock with me. I'm going to keep this content coming daily, weekly. Whatever y'all need, hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all want to see, what characters y'all maybe wa want me to talk about. Just holla at me. It's your boy, PB3G. I holla.